In addition to uh, humans who rather enjoy Necker Island, I suspect we have more species here than almost any other island on the planet. Uh, we're looking forward to today to show you our animals. Anyway, let's go meet the man and uh, we'll give the lemurs their breakfast. These are the red rough lemurs. There's only about 200 left in the world. It's Roxy and Riley here. This one here, um, my daughter, uh, her name is Rian, so we call her Rian. It's a real pleasure just to have them here. I mean, we bring uh, literally, I think, a thousand or so kids um, a year come to see them. The schools come over and, and, and thoroughly enjoy them. Um, but the conservation reason for doing it is, is simply to make sure that if um, the species of lemur dies out in Madagascar, as has happened with 50 other species, um, that, that the species doesn't die out forever and that it, it, it carries on. But, you know, that's very important for most species that are in peril. There should be a few uh, in captivity. Um, uh, make sure the surroundings are absolutely beautiful for them. Then you can be assured of the species' future. We'd love to just let them run wild on the island, um, uh, but because um, we want to uh, breed them and so that uh, the red ruff lemur remains a red ruff lemur, we don't create a new species of lemur, um, we put these sort of nets over big, big areas. And the lovely thing is you just don't see the nets. Um, so it's as if they're wild and, and we've given them lots of space which they wouldn't get in zoos. Um, and, and that's why they're breeding so well. Anyway, Roman will have lots more to show you. Now we're going to move on now to the other group of lemurs that we've got in Necker because we've got more than one species of lemurs. And to be honest with you, the one group that we're going into next, these are my favourites. Ringtail lemurs, the first batch of lemurs we got on Necker Island back in 2010. Every day I come onto the island at 7 o'clock in the morning and I will take a drive along just kind of like to see that everyone is okay. On the right here, We've got a pair of macaws. Go ahead. Good. Great job. Umbrella cockatoo. Very, very um, endangered also. As, like I said, most of the species we've got here on Echo, the population, the last estimated to be under 200 left. What we've got here is one of nine tortoises, giant tortoises from the island of Aldaba in the Galapagos. The oldest girl we've got, she is now turning 35 years of age. So hopefully in a couple of years time, we would be having some giant baby tortoises. So which I think that would probably be like the biggest day for Richard on Necker Island. So what we've got here is Lady Jones Garden. And it used to be once upon a time a garden for vegetables. But now what you will find in here is we've got a whole bunch of red-legged tortoises. So this is the most favorite of all the red-legged tortoises on Necker. Definitely, I think, the most famous because she was caught in the fire that burned in the main house. You could see how much she was burnt in that this entire dome here now is just, it's all of it is coming apart. If I lift her up a bit, you could see her legs here. They're all scarred from the fire. Thankfully for us, she's doing really fine. When Richard bought Necker Island towards the end of the 70s, Necker used to probably be just only for birds, really and truly. Maybe a couple of goats used to be here. From then to now, I think his passion for the environment has manifested itself. He chose to say, you know, I'm enjoying Necker Island and I should seriously start thinking of doing something for these guys. <laughs> Do I feel like Dr. Doolittle? I do sometimes. It's a, it's a great pleasure. This time of the year, what we're doing every single day is feeding the flamingos. Human beings should never, ever, ever let a species disappear from this earth. All of us have just got a pledge that we'll do everything we can to make sure no species that is on earth uh, disappears forever. 